Does a taller chute really help you send snow higher, farther, and with more control? In this video, we're testing out two new chutes for this repowered air and snow throw. Time to get shooting. Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Garage Gear. I'm JB, giving you the best tips and tricks to survive life in and out of the garage. And remember, if you're feeling the vibe and you want to be part of the tribe, subscribe. Before we get rolling, I have got to explain how this shoot episode even came about. This air and snow throw that we've been working on came with a very stubby chute measuring only about 11 inches without the deflector. And because of its short stubby design, it kind of barfs snow out into this rooster tail shot. A new engine and an impeller kit did help with this, but the spray pattern is still less than desirable. So this got me thinking, can a taller chute like the one on my 2013 errands arc the snow higher, shoot it farther, and under more control? Hmm. Ever since I started this channel back in 2019, I have been blown away every day by how awesome and unique our garage gear community has become. It's unlike anything else here on YouTube. So I started asking around here to some cool fans of the channel, and a few of them mentioned grabbing a taller chute off of a late 1980s or early 1990s Aaron snowblower. These models had a taller chute and a gear base that would fit perfectly on this Aaron snow throw. Kinda hard to find though. eBay had a few, but for about 125 bucks, that wasn't happening. <laughs> I paid less for my Aaron snow throw. Hunting on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace to see if I could buy a similar model and swap the shoots out was also a bust. But one night I was surfing Marketplace and I came across this one guy who specifically sells snowblower shoots. Hmm. His name is Eric Evans, and he has a pretty impressive selection of snowblower shoots. Take a look at these pictures. If you want it, he's probably got it. And he has a wide variety of Aaron shoots. He can even custom build or modify a shoot to your specific needs. You can discuss with him exactly what you want to accomplish with your snowblower, pay him through PayPal, and he ships you exactly what you need. A true snowblower DIYer right here in our garage gear community. I like this guy. I had the pleasure of speaking with him a handful of times, and he has a real passion for these older Aaron snowblowers. In fact, every time I spoke with him, I learned something new. I'll have his contact info linked down below in the description. So if you want to max out your snowblower with a new chute, contact him. And be sure to tell him JB from Garage Gear sent you. So I sent Eric a message asking him if he could help me out. Turns out he had what I was looking for and he said, hey, let's have some fun with this project. He said, I'm going to send you two chutes that'll give this snowblower some serious arc. He sent me two chutes, a medium modified old Toro chute and an Aaron's 824 chute, which I believe came off an early 2000s model. He took the Toro chute off of an older Toro power shift snowblower, cut an Aaron's gear bottom off of an old stubby chute and welded it to the bottom of the Toro chute. He then hit it with a coat of Aaron's orange and voila. Going by the entire length of this chute, it measures just short of 24 inches. It also has kind of a funneled down deflector here at the top. Will that help us or hinder the snow as it's ejected out of the chute? Let's bolt it on and find out. Every time I go to film one of these videos, I never have enough snow. So I'm gonna have to go across the street, take some of theirs, and bring it back and line it up. Guess it serves me right though, cause I'm always throwing it at their house. Before we start shooting, this snow has some weight to it. To be somewhat consistent here, I plan to pile up the same amount of snow using some old recycling bins. Our winter is winding down here in Buffalo, so I gotta shoot some snow while I still can. I piled up five bins worth in a row and gave the snowblower two even passes for each shoot. Check it out, here is the Toro's two attempts. I noticed an immediate difference using this chute. It undoubtedly launched the snow higher with a better arc compared to the stubby chute. I would most certainly have more control with this chute, and in terms of throwing distance, we achieved... That piece is 55 feet, two thirds of the way into my yard. That's really far. A few feet further than our recent test with an impeller kit install. The funnel deflector at the top did seem to streamline the snow and did not hinder it as it was ejected out. Now let's bolt on that taller chute. If that medium Toro chute was any indication of what's to come, I imagine that the taller chute will allow us to throw even higher. We're also going to pile up another five bins of snow and give this blower two passes through them. Let's give it a shot. Thank you. 
That taller shoot sent the snow higher than the St. Louis Gateway Arch. From my view behind the blower, the arc seemed to go about three to five feet higher. Throwing the snow about a foot further. There's the last one. There's the new one. How about that? And I felt I could control the snow coming out with just a bit more aim and accuracy. Overall verdict? It appears that a taller shoot does outperform a smaller shoot. Guess that's why brands like Aaron's are putting taller shoots on all their blowers. Both the medium Toro and the larger Aaron shoots demonstrated considerable improvements over the OEM stubby shoot, both adding a few more feet to our overall throwing distance. But the taller Aaron's took the win, sending the snow back to the clouds. Huge thank you to Eric Evans for sending these shoots my way. If you are interested in modifying your snowblower with a taller shoot, definitely get in touch with him. His contact info will be down below. Don't forget to give me one of these. If you're interested in picking up some Garage Gear gear, check out my links down below in the description. For more cool Garage Gear videos, check out my links right here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the garage.